Sunday's second encounter was greeted with a sea of confetti in the Allianz Arena in Munich as FC Bayern prepared to battle long-term Bundesliga rivals Hamburger SV. Well, these two teams both far up the standings. Bayern, of course, at the top of the table. They were hoping for a late inclusion for Frank Ribéry. Hamburg were waiting for Raphael van der Vaart to take to the pitch later in the game. We joined the action in the 11th minute. Van Boyten finds Closer. Closer finds Zerroberto. And that's the first warning sign that Bayern possibly meant business. The veteran Brazilian looking dangerous. Just seven minutes later, again, Bayern making the fancy plays. There's Philipp Lahm, feeds it out to Bastian Schweinsteiger. And up it goes, over into the box. I think there's a dead ball, you're wrong there. Alton Top keeps it in, stumbles, still has to control. And floats that ball in nicely to Luca Toni, but it just goes wide of Frank Ross' goal. Unlucky for Toni, 13 goals already. Would he score today? A beautiful setup from the Turkish international out in top. And Tony using all his skill to get something out of nothing. In the 40th minute now, it's a free kick from out in top. Company can clear, and there's Van Bommel. Decidedly wide. Bad luck for the Dutch international. As that ball went through a sea of bodies inside the Hamburg box. Well, half-time, it was goalless. Now we see the younger generation of Bundesliga fans waiting for more. And it came in the second half. There's a cracking shot from Paolo Guerrero, the former Bayern star, looking to score a goal. In the 54th minute, Guerrero again in on the action. Sets free Olic. Shakes off Van Boyten, sets it up, and a great defensive play from Zeroberto. Guerrero's waiting to pump that ball in. Beautiful defensive antics from Zeroberto denying Hamburg. Just minutes later, Lel onto Altintop. Bayern looking to make something happen. There's Zeroberto! Very close to scoring the veteran. But it wasn't to be. Had all the space and all the options. He picked the wrong one. Just one minute later. It was again time for Bayern to do some talking. Miroslav Klose slamming it wide and over the crossbar. He's in a bit of a goal-scoring drought, only one goal in 12 games. He could have ended it here. But when you're down and out on your lock, you just don't get the lucky bounces. And Hitzfeld disappointed. Bayern kept up the pressure just minutes later. Here's a Schweinsteiger free kick. And Lucio misses out. A great diving save from Frank Rost. Very dangerous free kick from Schweinsteiger. Look at that Batman action from Frank Rost. The 60th minute, and it was time for a rare piece of FC Bayern blackout in defence. Nell's got the ball, he's under pressure, finds Lucio. He decides to go on a ramble, and he loses control of the ball. Good turnover from Jarolim, sets up Evica Olic, and he says thank you. 1-0 for Hamburg. 60 minutes in, and the Croatian international has scored his 10th goal of the season. Look at the dejection on Lucio's face. Not so with Olic. Hamburger one up. Such a blackout from the big Brazilian. Very rare. Good presence of mind from Jarolim and Evica Olic. Beats Khan. No problems there. What a mistake. Lucio having a nightmare situation. Handing Hamburg the lead. Excellent execution for Knowledge. Khan had no chance. Well, there you see the dejection from Lucio. Bayern reacted by bringing in Frank Ribéry. There he is on the ball. This is the 66th minute. Feeds it out wide to Altintop. And the ball goes out of play. A quick throw in from Altintop finds Lel. Lel cuts inside. Everybody thinks it's a penalty. No, it's not. Zeroberto can slot the ball in. And this game is squared at one all. The veteran Brazilian with his fourth of the season has made it an open game again. As this replay shows, however, it wasn't even a Bayern throw in.
bad decision from the linesman, the linesman, but that's the way football goes. Lel cuts inside. No penalty, says De Jong. The ball's free, play on, and Zé Roberto is the right man at the right place at the right time. A prime example of never give up the ball until the whistle's been blown, and Zé Roberto says thank you. Bayern continue to push forward in the closing stages of this encounter. His Ribéry feeds through Lucas Podolski. There's Tony. Frank Rost, again, going in where it hurts, denying Tony his 14th goal of the campaign. Rost was actually winded by that collision with teammate Joris Matthijsson. This is the second minute of added time. And now there'll come a nasty scene in the world of football. Van Bommel holds on to the ball, that of course is delay of game and a yellow card. And what follows is inexcusable. You saw the gestures, Van Bommel quite rightly sent off immediately for an early shower. As Bayern would spend the last 60 seconds or so of the game, a man down. Unsportsmanlike behaviour from the Dutch international. He's already regretting it, but you can't undo what you've done. Van Bommel goes, as the game True to a close, it ended up as a 1-1 result, Bayern thereby extending their lead at the top of the table. Hamburg still in the hunt for the Champions League, Champions League qualification berth. In all, a very, very good game.